of the two, two earning reports. So I want to first talk about some of the trade that I made it today, and then I want to highlight one of the particular things that I want to bring to your attention, which is the UUP. I'll talk about that later. Secondly, I will discuss some of the things that I want to pay attention to, the stocks that I've been pulling back because the, you know, the sector rotations. So with that uh, out of the way, let's talk about the trade that I made it today. Actually, it's a slower day, like I mentioned earlier, so I didn't do too much, but I took some profit on the SPY indexes, and I sold a spread on Betadoc, and I bought a pen calls for uh, Tiffany. And also, I looked into buying some of the shares from the ARKG, which is a biotech uh, ETFs. So, first of all, let's go through them one by one. SPY is actually, you know, performed really well today. So today is one of the strong day in the beginning of the week. So I was really impressed with the SPY performance from the morning and towards the end of the day. Chart here, you know, the Thursday, Friday selling off. Today it rebounded pretty quickly and moving above the uh, moving average line. So I had an SPY, you know, uh, spread. I saw the put spread at the price of 285 with the protection of 275. What that means is as long as SPY stay above that uh, threshold, 285, I can get the premium that I uh, sold back. But today is a really good day. You know, SPY went above to 322, so I wanted to take some profit. So I closed one of the spread that I sold, and I paid the $30. So in net net, I got about $110 back from just, you know, this particular trade with, uh, within a couple of weeks. So that's one of the safety trades that a lot of people can make. You know, selling premium is actually one of the better strategies in buying costs and puts uh, that are out of the money. Even though those can be give you a higher return, but the chances of hitting those trades are uh, lower. So things like this, you know, selling spreads that, you know, taking into consideration of the time decay and bring time to your side. But if you are the seller, you will benefit from the time um, uh, pass by. So uh, similar on that tone, I did a similar trade on Datadog. Datadog is one of the technology sector trade. It's what has been very performed really well. Let's look at the trade for Datadog. Datadog is it has continued moving up in the last couple uh, weeks. And it, you know, it's really benefited from the COVID. It's one of the companies that provided cloud, uh, cloud strategies. So the fact that it was under rotation uh, last week, the entire software sector was, you know, pretty much be hammered because of the previous earning run up. And now it's actually today as we rebound back. So is there some strength behind the data dog? And because the fact that it's still quite a volatile, I decided to sell the data dog, you know, similar to what I did for the SPY, I decided to sell the spread. So data dog is in the ID percentage is being pretty high. So it's a good time when you to want to sell spreads. For some of the uh, beginners, you know, selling a, a spread, selling any of the option contract, one of the biggest factor is volatility. And the second factor is time. You can look at the volatility by you know the index here. The entire volatility usually indicates how volatile the underlying stock and ETF is. So the higher it is, you know, the more premium you can collect. So for the September 4th, it's still quite uh, high implied volatility. So I decided to sell the spread at the 75 and with the protection of $65. If we look at the overall, you know, the performance of the data that currently is being traded around $87. So there's some room for it to rebound, you know, to kind of take a step back. But 75 is a pretty safe you know, zone for you to consider. And with this, I can take a profit of, of, of about $200. I think it's 344 minus the 131. You know, it's, it's a decent amount of a premium that you can collect. And that's what I did. I did a data log trade. Let's look at other, uh, some of other things that I did earlier. Tiffany 
has a, some, there was a rumor about midday that Tiffany, there's acquisition with Louis Vuitton, you know, there's has been always been some uh, news about that. So I don't want to make it too much investment, so I made some small um, play on this. So let's look at the Tiffany. I bought a couple calls at the price of three cents per call. I, I think I bought about uh, 10 of them. So it really, it's just 30 the $30 that we're talking about. Um, towards the end of the day, actually, towards the middle of the day, with the fact that news come up, it went up, but then it kind of you know, came back down toward, uh, when the market closed. So I'll look at those and see what to do on those in the next couple of days and weeks. And last but not least, I did an ETF trade on the ARKG. So ARKG is an alternative solution for the uh, biotech sectors. You know, the entire backwards biotech sector has been under the spotlight with the COVID, you know, vaccine news. But the, the, IB, the IBB ETF for the biotech sector has, it's really quite expensive. So here's another alternative solution that you can look into. You know, ARKG, it's been traded around uh, $56. So something to worth look at. It has also, you know, traded really similar to the uh, IB, uh, the, the ETF, the biotech ETF that a lot of people are familiar with. So these are a the couple of the trades that I made earlier today. And then let's talk about, you know, whatever stock that you should pay attention to. You know, Microsoft Shop, Snap, and Datadog, and CRWD, these are technology stocks that, like I mentioned earlier, last week, you know, Microsoft reported earning and Snap reported earning. Um, stock has been kind of hammered and then, you know, slowed down, and the entire software sector has been rotated out. So these are things that you can pay attention to right now. These are stocks that have strong fundamentals and technicals. It has come back to the 50-day or 10-week line. So expect some kind of rebound from there. And then the particular company that are going to report earnings this week, you know, Visa, um, McDonald's, Facebook. Facebook actually changed their earning dates because of the antitrust impact from last week. So PayPal is one of the stocks that I paid closer attention to. PayPal, the fact that they're providing pay, payment solutions over the cloud, you know, contact list. And, and it's very similar to what the, the ramp up that Square has. The PayPal has been, you know, one of the key stocks benefited from the COVID incident. And then last but not least, I'm also you know, going to focus on the Apple and the Google Play. So pretty much these are the things that I'm going to be paying attention tomorrow and the rest of, rest of the week. So with that being said, you know, hopefully this is helpful. You can get, get some ideas. I forgot to mention about the UUP. UUP is, for some of you that are not familiar with UUP, UUP is the ETF to indicate the strength of the US dollar. So the US dollar has really been hammered. If you look at the last couple of weeks, US dollar has been trending down for quite a, a while. And the fact that there's a new Congress, you know, a stimulus package that's being discussed and the potentially uh, another trillion dollar that could be injecting to the market is going to further weaken the U.S. dollar. So I bought a couple puts on the U.S. dollar and uh, they're being doing pretty well. So the put that I purchased and you guys can take a look at it. Again, this is just, you know, for education purpose, nothing is recommended to play at your own risk. So the put that I bought it are going to be expire, expiring in September 18th. So I bought a couple puts at a, uh, $25. I think I bought about eight of them at the price of uh, $12. So as you can see, it has already doubled. So I will take a look at those, see if I can collect my initial investment back and then see if I can you know, make any profit for the after, afterwards. So here are all the things that I want to discuss with you guys today, and hopefully this is helpful and can give you some ideas. And I will see you tomorrow.